oaks are one of the best ones. If you want to plant one tree, the problem with oaks is they grow really slowly and um, people don't have that much patience. I mean, you, this is maybe 20 years old here or, or less. Um, you know, we want fast growing things, but the oaks uh, have hundreds of different species of caterpillars. Um, it's really interesting. If you want to read something good about it, there's a guy, Doug Callaman, that has, he has some good YouTube videos. He has a book called Bringing Nature Home. And he lives um, on the East Coast, but he actually had a hay field that was 10 acres. And he planted all native trees. And within 20 years, he found over a thousand species of Lepidoptera, which is moths and butterflies, just on this, this um, 10 acre property. So, and, and oaks, like I say, produce hundreds. Willows are really good, but any native plant. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people will plant something that looks pretty. And just to use a bad example, maybe a ginkgo. Ginkgos have zero caterpillars that they will produce. And so, um, so here again, they, they look nice, but they provide no, um, you know, nothing useful for the migratory birds. And we consider just like one family of, of chickadees might feed five or 6,000 caterpillars during one nesting season to their baby. <laughs> so caterpillars here again, people don't think, I'm gonna plant some trees so that I can get, get you know, caterpillars and things to eat my trees. You know, it's, it's not the way we think. But, but here again, the importance is, and you probably heard the recent study that there's three billion fewer uh, migratory birds than there were um, 40 years ago from a study that just came out. And that's catastrophic. That's almost a 25% decline in a very short period. And here again, it's death by a thousand cuts, but if they don't have the caterpillars to eat, um, you know, they, they won't be able to feed their babies. You know, there's, you know, here again, there's, you know, cats, feral cats cause a lot of problems. Um, the collisions with buildings and cell phone towers, um, you know, it's kind of death by a thousand cuts. Of course, habitat loss is another um, problem there too. But, um, but here again, it's, it's very important to, to plant the, the native trees. You know, we mostly plant for aesthetics and, and get rid of the lawn too. Yeah. And that's basically a dead zone. You know, there's like you know, millions of acres in lawn that, that just don't produce anything. Even a field like this, that's, that's grassy, you know, you, you take a net through here and there's a ton of insects out here. So if you have a lawn and you have enough room, at least don't mow it. Um, you know, because here again, a lot of stuff will nest in the ground too, including meadow larks and um, vesper sparrows, you know, all the waterfowl nest on the ground, uh, you know, quail, things like that. So, um, so yeah, it's, there's, you know, we, we can do a lot because m most of the land is actually in, in private hands. And so, um, you know, it, it's, it's great that we have, um, you know, nonprofits that, that do a lot of the work out here but most of the land still is in people's yards. So, so it's up to us individually to, to do things. Um, and one other thing, the second most common thing that uh, birds eat besides caterpillars is spiders. Um, and spiders are sort of a little specialty of mine. Um, these are wolf spiders and you'll see them all over through here. And when you see like a, you know, a bluebird going down to the ground, you know, chances are it's getting spiders. And these guys are really cool. They'll actually take their egg case and attach it to their spinnerets on their back and in another couple of weeks, you should be able to see the, the females actually walking around. This one doesn't have, have it on hers, but um, you, you can actually find that on the ground. But we really don't have any bad spiders here. There are black widows. They're very uncommon in, in our area. And you really have to work to, to, um, to find them. So, so don't worry about spiders. 